If there was an award for the worst mayor of the past year, decade, century, millennium, lifetime, it goes to Lori Beetlejuice, look like the skeleton from Nightmare Before Christmas, Lightfoot. How can you be such a bad leader that when you are looked at for answers to questions that the community would want to know, you point the finger at other people. You say it's their fault because they're not doing enough to protect themselves from looters. I'm disappointed that they're not doing more to take safety uh, and make it a priority. Lightfoot is catching some heat over the comments. Carr says she's, quote, sadly misinformed. You can't, as she suggested a couple weeks ago, buzz everyone in and out through a door. Retail doesn't work that way. You can't put everything behind lock and key or a glass case. Some high-end stores along the Gold Coast have hired security guards to usher in customers one at a time because of videos like this, where a handful of criminals come in at a time. In this case, the theft ring made off with over $100,000 worth of Louis Vuitton items. Well, the National Retail Federation reported that these types of crimes, organized retail crimes, have increased over 60% in the last five years. Retailers aren't the only ones who see the fallout from this. It also means millions aren't coming in from sales tax for Chicago and the state of Illinois. We still have retailers that won't institute um, plans like having security officers in their stores, making sure um, that they've got cameras that are actually operational. And let me be clear here, she's kind of right, because in this landscape of different clips being posted of people just walking into stores, taking what they want, and just walking out of the store, you would think store owners, co-workers, employees, anyone with money investing in these stores would think, yeah, we need tighter security because if we don't get it, more and more people are going to think it's free to come take everything we own in this store, and that's not good. So. I kind of agree with her there. The problem I and a lot of other people might have is that you're the leader. When people look at Chicago's problems, they're looking directly at you and that poor hairline you got. People are looking to you for answers. And when you're just pointing the finger at everybody else or saying, hey, all the criticism you're levying at me, it's obviously because I'm a black woman. Oh, I mean, look, look at my predecessors. Um, did, did people say that Rich Daly um, held, uh, you know, uh, uh, tea sessions uh, with people that he didn't disagree on. Uh, Rahm Emanuel was a polite um, guy who was a, a uniter. No. Women and people of color are always held to a different standard. You're looking like a piss poor leader. That's not me hating you. That's not me hoping you fail. That's literally what you're doing. You have not shown proper leadership. I'm not about to compare all these different governors and mayors because I don't know all these different governors and mayors. All I know is how piss poor you have been handling a lot of situations. You add more cops in different areas, sure, but why would you levy that blame squarely at retail owners. They really can't do much with limited police force and not having enough of the finances to hire private security or public security, and they're struggling to dealing with all these different people coming into their stores and robbing them. They need some form of answers or guidance or help from you, Beetlejuice, nobody else, no one else is going to come help them. And what's weird is how many people disagree with her and she will not address them at all. All. When she's met with criticism, she doesn't really handle it the best. She seemingly talks over people, she cuts them off, blames it on her being a black woman, and people just roll with it because they're used to her being an embarrassment. That is poor leadership. And I know people are going to sit there and say, oh well, what are you going to do about it? I have no ideas. I am a 22 year old. I do not have a lot of money to fix the world's problems. All I can do is point out how much of a shit job other people are doing and hopefully individuals who care enough to vote will vote her out or beg her to change. That's the simpler options I could come up with on the fly. What could you come up with? Because seemingly the answer of just letting people walk in and take everything that they can put in a bag 
is not working. It's hurting businesses. Y'all talk all that garbage about we must support small businesses. You could rob a small business now. You talk all that garbage. What was it? Uh, hashtag Black Xmas. They got many small stores getting robbed. They got big stores getting robbed. So much support is being given out right now, isn't it? Hmm. You didn't really think that part through because, oh, the white capitalism is always bad. They got insurance. It's all fine. At the end of the day, something got to give. I am of the stance people got to defend their properties. I know everybody likes to say, oh, are you valuing property over human life? Me? Yes, because I value my items. I will value my items to the core over anybody's life. Why? Because I bought these and they're mine. And anyone who wants to take them is going to have to deal with me and how much I care about these items as opposed to their thieving life. That's just me. I understand everybody's different. I understand everybody's got their own way of life. I am not here to change your way of life. All I'm saying is if you're somebody who owns a store or you own something fancy and you got a bunch of people who look at your side eye and they just waiting, they rub in their hands and they just expecting for one moment of a slip up you need to defend yourself your stores your possessions all that i'm not saying end your life over them because if the situation comes to it and you just one person and you think them weird training videos that i've been seeing on youtube are going to help you it's not don't really risk your life all i'm saying is defend it all i'm saying is take the chance to actually hold the fort for your stores. And to Lori Lightfoot, to end this video, it's embarrassing watching you just deflect and deflect and deflect. Actually lead your city instead of burying it into the ground. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. You all like my new shirt? I bought it at H&M. Bye.